So you've created your channel, but it looks pretty bland. Today, we're gonna change that. Hey guys, Colin here from Nexus Tech, and welcome to the first episode of the YouTube Guide series. So this has been a long time in the works, but finally we are here. Um, so guys, this episode is gonna be about creating a um, professional minimalist profile picture some people underestimate the power of one of these but actually what channel would you choose the top one or the bottom one I'd always personally click on the top one because it looks more professional if you have Photoshop this tutorial will be perfect for you but you can follow along with GIMP and if you have Photoshop and you don't want to do any work then you can download the template in the description down below so I hope you enjoy so today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a profile picture and for this, I'm going to be using a basic 2D kind of profile picture. And I know a lot of gaming channels like to use fancy 3D text with heaps of particle effects. And I'm thinking maybe for the banner, I'll end up doing that. And then for the profile picture, I'll go for the, this minimalist design. So we'll just have to see how everything unfolds. But today, we're going to be using Photoshop to do this tutorial. And everything I do in here is possible in the program GIMP, or GIMP, I'm not sure how to say it, which is a free program. Um, or if you want to follow along exactly as I do, you can install the 30-day trial, or you can buy it, but it's expensive, so whatever. Um, but yeah, guys, let's just get into it and go file new. So we're going to call it um, Nex oh, um, Nexus Tech YouTube Guide. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, for width, you want to set it to 800 pixels. For height, 800 pixels. And if it's displaying some other form measurement, just change it. And keep all the other settings the same as I have and change that to transparent. And press OK. Easy. So, you are greeted with a transparent um, 800 by 800 square. And that's the standard resolution for YouTube profile pictures. So, to create the circle that you'll see in the Nexus Tech logo, which I'll put on the screen now. So, you can see it has like an outer circle, an inner circle, and then the text. We're going to actually make that a little bit fancier and play around a little bit. But um, yeah. So, you want to go down to the ellipse tool, which is uh, right here. And usually it would be displayed as the rectangle tool. And you have to click, hold, and scroll down to the ellipse tool. And then you double click on the canvas, and this will come up. So, what you want to type in is 800 by 800, and that makes it the same size as the canvas. And click OK. Right, so we get a black circle. Um, okay, so just drag it down and move it to the center by using this pointer tool. And to change the color, you can do it here, but you just click on that, go fill. We're going to make it blue. We're going to try blue Nexus Tech color. Um, okay, so that's good. Fits right to the edge. Now to make our inner circle, you do the same. Double click in the canvas. And we're going to go for like 780, I think. I think would work well and that would create a 20 pixel wide line around the edge what I mean by that I'll show you in a minute select that nice dark gray put it right in the middle that is a 20 pixel line so that's good so create the text you just click the text tool oh by the way if if it's displaying like that you just drag this up those are your layers whatever order that works great so click the text tool don't click in the middle because um, it messes things up. So like, click here, and or you can click in the middle. Just make sure you have no layer selected. But that's all right. It's not a huge deal. I'm gonna type Nexus and all. Um, actually, I'm gonna try your name. I'll do your name. I'll just make the template now. Your. Mm, this is gonna be weird. Actually, okay. Let's try it up for a challenge. Okay, so I'm using typograph semi bold, so you guys are gonna have to download that font if you want to do that. Um, have this exact same font, but you can switch things up. And if you're downloading the template at least. Um, and then go extra bold, that's what I'm gonna do. Again, you can switch everything up here. And um, we'll see your name. Sweet. I think that's pretty good. What about you guys? And match it up. Mm. Yep, that's pretty good. I don't think it looks as good as Nexus Tech. Because your name just doesn't <laughs> doesn't work. Okay, so um, I keep the top, in my logo, I keep the top text white. Uh, not quite full white, but almost. And then I set this to the color of the ring. And that looks quite nice. Okay, 
So that would be what my logo is right now, but we're going to do some extra things really quickly. So if you double click on name, you can add a drop shadow. I'm playing around. You can do anything. These are all cool settings that you can enable or disable. You can do some tricky stuff. And I trust me, try it around. You learn a lot from these, this little layer style menu here. So I'm going to use a drop shadow to make it kind of look like it's sitting off the logo a little bit. You see that? Before, after, adds a bit of depth. And for this, I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to make it look like it's in, internally been cut out of this gray layer. So I'm going to do that as a inner shadow, sorry. I'm going to change the distance to about that. That looks good. Press OK. And now it looks like that's in and that's out. And I think that kind of adds depth to like a simple profile picture. And now, what was the other thing I usually do? Okay, double click on this. Um, actually, when I say usually, I've only done that once. Um, so we could add a outer glow, which looks quite cool. You can just see it, but... Um, oh, wow, that looks pretty cool. Let's use that then. Okay, so I'm going to change that a little bit, make it a little less crazy. Still a bit crazy, because we like that. That looks awesome. Personally, I think that looks amazing. And that's our loco. Loco. Logo. So to save that, what you want to do, you don't need to do that. I'm just doing it. Um, is click file, save as. And since this is transparent, we have to use a PNG file. So just go to PNG on the save as type. And click save. Smallest, slow. And then click save to save the project. And then we can close it. And we'll have a little look. By the way, this is fences with the uh, folders and all this, how you can hide it. All these files are from that one project, that one, the last video. Or not, maybe not the last video, the trailer for this whole um, series. Oh no, what have I done? X, remove. Did it screw it up? It screwed it up. Guys, <laughs> now I need to fix that. Okay, where's our logo? Let's just find our logo. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Can you see the logo? Let's go Dora Explorer on this. Honestly, wait, am I blind? I think I'm blind. I don't see it. Oh, right there, jeez. There it is. I think that looks great. I'm gonna go change my logo to this, except not blue. I'm gonna keep orange, even though this blue is pretty tempting. But yeah, guys, template download in the description if you just wanted to do that, um, but you're gonna need Photoshop. And if you wanna follow this tutorial in any program, you can do that too, and that's how I make a profile picture. So guys, I hope you learned a new way to make a good profile picture. Um, if you really do want to, you can download the template down below. No shame. But yeah guys, thank you for watching again. I know this episode and next episode are going to be a little bit boring because it's a tutorial, pretty basic stuff. But guys, please hold out until episode 3, 4, or 5 and onwards, because um, in episode 3 we're going to be talking about screen recorders for uh, Windows, Mac, and consoles, and then um, in episode 4 we're going to talk be talking about microphones, and, and episode 5 more gear, etc, and so on and so on. So guys, please hold out until then, but thank you guys again for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. See you guys. Get on